Now, people aren't the only ones having a tough time with the prolonged cold weather we've seen this winter. Local beekeepers are reporting a higher loss this year. Storm Team 27 meteorologist Alex George joins us now to explain why. Chelsea, it's not uncommon for beekeepers to lose hives during the winter, but I talked with one beekeeper who says he lost seven of his eight hives, which is a higher loss than normal. He says there are two issues. The first is varroa mites. It's an issue that beekeepers have been dealing with since the 1980s. The mites attack the honeybees. The second issue this year was the prolonged cold weather. As the varroa mite takes its toll and the bees die, <clears throat> Uh, in the cold days, the bees will surround the queen and vibrate their wing muscles to keep warm. Well, less and less bees mean less and less heat. Most beekeepers are now looking forward to swarm season. It's one way that they can replenish their hives. Swarming is how hives reproduce. When a beehive becomes overcrowded, roughly half the bees will leave and start looking for a new home. Bruce says swarming typically starts in May and will continue into June. Bruce says if you see a swarm, do not touch it or spray anything on it. The best thing to do is call a beekeeper. In the studio, Alex George, First News at Noon.